One is the role of estrogen in cancer. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? So estrogen, as we say over in the UK, maybe, um, it's a signaling molecule, uh, which specifically for fungal pathogens uh, encourages their growth and virulence, which may explain why breast cancer is the um, uh, biggest, uh, most prominent cancer in women or of all time. And then you've got prostate cancer as well. And with diabetes and what have you, you have this change in our hormones from uh, testosterone in, in males to estrogen because fat cells produce estrogen as well. So you have got this dysbiotic process going on with with estrogen that facilitates uh, fungal growth and virulence. There's some really interesting stuff going on with estrogen. Uh, when I was heavily exposed to toxic mold as a child and in my 20s, when I was about 26, I had my estrogen levels tested and uh, they were higher than my mom's and my testosterone was lower than hers. And then you realize that many of the most toxic forms of cancer make xenoestrogens that are up to 10,000 times more potent than human estrogen. So even men, we need some amount of estrogen, but if you're obese like I used to be, um, and for reference, I used to weigh 100 pounds more than I do now. So that's 50% greater than my current 6% body fat. Um, and I don't know what that is in stone because you guys are weird over in the UK. Uh, but it was a lot of stones, we'll put it that way. So uh, when I fixed my estrogen levels and increased my testosterone exogenously by injecting testosterone or using a cream under a doctor's care, just to have physiological levels, not to be super physiological. I did see a lot of improvements in my health. So today we're soaked in environmental estrogens from plastic and chemicals and uh, even just from eating a lot of soy and foods like that. Do you think that excess estrogen in the environment is a contributor to cancer or is it less important than what's going on with fungal estrogen? Um, I think so. When you talk about synthetic estrogens as well, you're talking about them, them causing inflammation within your cells. So there's a whole process of this cell danger response going on where you've got this inflammation. You've got um, also the triggering of the virulence of particular fungal pathogens if they're present within that tissue. Um, so yeah, definitely estrogen uh, hormone imbalance is playing a big role 